We're the Defenders of Comics, and we are talking tonight about the Thor Love and Thunder upcoming second trailer. And I'm not going to lie, I'm scared shitless. I don't have any other way to say that, that I'm scared to death of what this trailer is going to be. What do you think, Ace? Um, Yeah, I'm with you. I don't know what to, to think at this point. I am excited to, to see Gore, uh, Christian Bale's Gore, the God Butcher. But I've said it for a while now, and I will gladly eat my words. I will say, oh, I was that was stupid. I I think it was awesome. I take it back. But I think, I'm telling you, I think this is going to be Marvel's Batman and Robin. I've said it for a year now. I, uh, Taika Waititi is quirky, and that everyone thought they loved Ragnarok, even though it's the opinion seems to have flipped now, and more people are thinking it was crap uh but i it's joel schumacher it's batman yeah. forever everyone thought that was such a great change and uh all the action it brought and i did like batman forever just like i like ragnarok but they went they went in the back room and snorted a bunch of cocaine and came out and and made one of the worst comic movies of all time probably <laughs> the worst comic movie of all time and um uh, I I think they may have done the same thing with with this. I think they just doubled down on all this the stupidity, and decided, oh, let's just it worked last time. Let's do it double. Here's what worries me. I think they are going to double down on the stupidity. I don't think the stupidity is going to have anything to do with the women in this movie at all. And I think Thor I is going to become the dumbest, weirdest, like out there spiritual man that we have ever seen. And the true heroes are going to be the women involved. That's oh, my opinion. Oh, without question. And hey, guess what? I think it's cool. I've always liked that design of the Jane Foster Thor. I, uh, oh yeah. I mean, this That's is it much. right here. Yeah. They yeah. they are powerful, powerful women sitting on Thor thro thrones, and I have no problem with powerful women. But man, I just feel they're getting shoved down our throats right now, gigantically. Well, yeah, it's like, hey, introduce these characters, which, uh, you know, I am actually still excited to see Jane as Thor as uh, a female Thor, but I'm not excited to see her be the mighty Thor who makes Thor look like a bumbling fool, and Thor barely escapes things because he's got to have Valkyrie and Jane bail him out and they do everything right. They don't do anything wrong because, you know, reasons. And uh, Thor makes it through the movie. He's a uh, gentler. He's finally found peace. And, you know, thank goodness he had Jane and Valkyrie to bail him out because he wouldn't be able to do it himself because he's yeah. mostly still a bumbling idiot. She looks good. I can't say that she doesn't look good because. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Yes. I, I don't know if could they have possibly done anything CGI to her arms or what? But I, I wouldn't put it past Natalie Portman for working out extremely hard to make well, herself they, look like it. She does. They said she did. I, I mean, she's such a tiny frame. I don't know how much you can actually do. But hey, I, if she did good for her. I mean, she did obviously work out. If Is it a little enhanced? I'd say it probably is, but I'm sure she put in a lot of a lot of work. Now, for me, I I just have a personal bias. I cannot freaking stand that actress who plays Valkyrie. Yeah. I just there's something about her that she just her well, I know her her agenda is LGBT feminism. Uh, all her work is from an agenda point of view. I mean, so I'm already turned off by that because I know they're sh they're shoehorning it in. It's like, ah, you know, this probably doesn't have anything to do with Gore the God Butcher killing gods across the universe. But we better have that agenda part in there too. Yeah. I mean, I'm I I think there's going to be some decent action and if you give me decent action, I am a sucker for that. Um uh, is all like, the decent action, though, going to be about the females? Right. It, but is it going to be like, well, I don't care how much action it is. It's just pissed me off so much, the movie itself, that I I can't even enjoy it. So, And I am pretty 
I'm pretty uh, concerned about it. I think uh, online, it, it seems that the tables are turning on it as well. People are like, oh, geez, you know, we like Chris Hemsworth a lot, yeah. and a little bit of comedy does help the Thor movies, but yeah. this looks like it's just uh, an SNL skit at this point. What was the last moment that Thor, Chris Hemsworth Thor, in your opinion, was the badass that Thor is? His last, his uh, Infinity War. Yes. Oh my gosh. When uh, my cousin, he's a massive Thor fan, and you know we were texting after Infinity War. It's like, oh man, that scene where Thor comes back and he's he's got Stormbreaker, and he just kind of starts wiping the floor with. And what uh, Bruce Banner says because it's a perfect entrance for Thor. He's like, oh, you're in trouble now. <laughs> it's yep. like here he is, and that is still like amazing. But wow. Ever after since that, then. ever since then, it's like we're. Uh, we're downhill, man. It's, you know, we got Fat Thor, we got Professor Hulk, and uh, I I think, yeah. I don't know. I will eat my words. I hope I'm wrong. I hope it's more about action adventure, and it's it's more of just, and Thor is still a badass in it, and Jane and Valkyrie are, are cool too, but not more so. We'll see, but... Uh, I ain't holding my breath, and I'm pretty sure we gonna be right. Well, I want everybody to put in the comments: Is Ace gonna eat his words, or do you agree with him? And the second thing is, they've also said that this movie is only gonna be around two hours. Have you heard that? I've heard that. I heard two different times though, so no one seems to know for sure. But I'd say that's probably a good guess. I bet it's not gonna be a bloated movie. It's probably gonna get. I'd say two hours is probably gonna be right at where it lands we'll see though and really the, i in my opinion when people are saying two hours only i don't think that's bad i think that's a decent film i think for, that's pretty good yeah oh wait wanna... one last thing about this meek you know the little insect yeah uh in world war hulk the comic meek is a massive uh a player we got meek in ragnarok he was in uh i think he was in endgame uh oh guess what meek isn't a, a male at all meek is a woman a female and hmm. next time we see meek he's he she is dressed up in a dress because oh we didn't know meek was a female uh guess what no meek is not a female he's a male in the comics and lost his family and kind of went cuckoo from it case closed i'm not shocked and i have a feeling <laughs> this is what this movie is going to be about more yep. than Thor, the strongest Avenger, uh, is going to be about. We'll see. All right. That's it. Let Please. us know what you think. That's right. Bye. If you have enjoyed what you have watched, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you check out our other videos. Thank you.